Well, it's time for camping trip number two of the season. Now, you might ask where we're going. I can't exactly tell you, not because it's a secret, it's because we don't exactly know. So we're gonna go to Copper Creek Campground, which is uh, just basically a recreation site here in BC. It's only got five camping spots. So considering that it's a holiday weekend, we may not actually get any space there, but it's not like it's Labor Day weekend. Uh, and then if that fails, then we've got three sites just past Princeton uh, called on, on Old Headley Road. So it's like Old Headley Road East and West. So we'll see if we get that far. In fact, they may not even put this part in, but uh, we'll see where we go. So uh, we loaded up the trailer. We were pretty freshly prepared after the last one, so it was a pretty easy prep. And uh, we're going to head out with no specific uh, goal on where we're going to go. Uh, the one thing is, though, I will be working on Monday. So we're going to be doing a Starlink Monday where I'm going to be working from the trailer. I've got multiple meetings and we're going to see how that works. Two forty. We finally ended up on the old Headley Road recreation area east. This was sort of our plan B. We did go to plan A. Um, we had some shots of it here. It was pretty nice. I almost thought about staying there, but it was sort of like the sites that were available were the second tier sites and it was kind of muddy. So if we were going to do it, you know, we were going to be around mud for that for the weekend. Uh, so we decided to screw it. Let's head back on out to the road and uh, cruise on out through Princeton to this location. It's one I've seen from the road for a lot of years. It always seemed like a pleasant place to stop. It is near the, the road. We're not really in the middle of nowhere. We're on a well-traveled route. Uh, it, it's we're, we're outside of cell service, but we've got the Starlink, so that doesn't matter. But we're quite close to the road. We're only 22 minutes from Princeton and eight minutes from Headley, which is where we're gonna head now. So let's go check out Headley. Headley. Not heady, it's headly. Headley, British Columbia, nestled in the Similkameen Valley, offers a charming glimpse into the province's rich mining history. While its gold rush era glory may have faded, Headley's unique character and surrounding beauty still capture the imagination of visitors. Steeped in history, Headley boasts a well-preserved collection of heritage museums, the Headley Mascot Museum, a once bustling gold producer now offers tours that delve into the town's past. Uh, you can explore old mine buildings, learn about the grueling work of miners, and witness remnants of the gold rush frenzy. For a refreshing break, explore the Headley Country Market. Stock up on picnic supplies before heading to the riverside for a relaxing afternoon. The Headley Country Market had some of the best baked goods I've had in a long while. Headley isn't just about the past. The Headley Museum and Tourist Booth provides a one-stop shop to learn about the town's history and pick up local souvenirs. Was we were there on Easter Saturday and the whole town was amassing at the community center for a big potluck. It was a real nice thing to see at such a small town event.
Not far from Headley is the Pickard Creek Recreation Site. It's on the Similkameen River uh, Park. You can camp there as well as the areas that we camped at. This is on a provincial parkland, so I tend to lean towards the recreational sites where I can fly my drone and not worry so much about the feeds and the rules. But after driving through this site, we definitely thought about trying to hit this one up on one of our next trips out this way. Well, let's go check out Princeton, BC. Nestled at the confluence of the Tulamine and the Similkameen rivers in southern British Columbia, Princeton boasts a rich history and scenic beauty that beckons visitors. History buffs will delight in Princeton's well-preserved downtown core. Explore Bridge Street, lined with heritage buildings that stand as testaments to the town's prosperous past. Princeton Museum is a treasure trove of local history, showcasing artifacts, exhibits, and stories that bring the town's mining era to life. Once a thriving mining and railway hub, Princeton offers a glimpse into the past alongside opportunities to explore the surrounding wilderness. So it looks like I got bit by the broken front hitch bug that's been going around lately. <laughs> well, we're just pulling out of the recreation area. A little later than we had originally planned. Our plan was to get out around noon or one because I had one more uh, business meeting I had to do. And we were going to do that further along the way. But uh, we went to go hitch up and lo and behold, the hitch wouldn't work. So it finally happened to us, the jack just stopped working. You might find a video in the past where this happened, where I just used a jack, uh, an independent jack, to take the weight off of the trailer, and then the jack just started to move, no problem. 
but now it just stopped. It stopped in the middle of us hitching up, in fact. Uh, we were just lowered it down, and then we went to lift it up, and it just stopped. Now, I hear a lot of people talking about how it's because it's not greased. So I want to show you how well greased this has been. I've been greasing this repeatedly this season just because I did not want to have the problem happen that so many people seem to be having. So hold on. Yeah, this sucks. So sorry. I have greased the entire screw. This whole thing has remained greased. I have been keeping this screw so well greased with red and tacky, even going as far as to clean it out between greasings because it collects dirt under there. And yet now it won't work. Now, I've taken the shroud off because I was turning the front, but I didn't have a ratchet that big, just a braking bar. But back here, I can reach the quarter inch uh, little socket hole for this and I can turn it, but man, is it taking a lot of energy, right? I mean, it's tough. However, if Johanna holds the retract button on the motor, Johanna, can you go hold the retract button on the motor? All right, so go ahead, Johanna. Now that she's holding it, it still won't activate, but now when I go to do it, it's really easy to move. And slowly but surely, we're lifting this up. I mean, I'm not sure whether I should be turning the front screw or this, but we gotta get out of here. And unfortunately that front one was just gonna take too long since I didn't have that large of a ratchet. So I'll be talking to Woody's and, and Ember about this. Finally getting up there. So if you're ever wondering how to do it, this is one of the ways. It only took four screws to take this shroud off. Let me show you right here. Let me go into wide mode. Okay, so this shroud, right? We took it off so we could get full access. There is an access port, but I didn't have an extension and didn't want to play games. So only four screws to take it off. So now I have full access. And we're pretty much wrapped up. So it seems like the motor bound up, not the screw. Because again, we've kept the mechanisms here really well greased. So that's right, the hitch got jammed up. My very well greased uh, hitch, the Lippert Gate Defender, froze up. It happened once before and I made a video about it. That was just that I had basically uh, let it go too high with a load. And so it was a very easy fix. You just use a jack to get the weight off the, the front defender hitch thingy. And, and then it, 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 it just works. I have a crazy question. Yes, sir. Is there anything in the motor that needs to be greased? You don't, the motor should not be, it's a good question. I don't believe the motor is serviceable. Um, it's a closed unit, uh, but maybe if that's what I was missing, well, I'll be looking over the uh, maintenance instructions again, seeing if I missed something. But... So we, via our Starlink, I looked up the manual for the, uh, the, the defender. gate defender it's really short it's only six pages and that includes a huge title page that says oh, lipper gate defender so and i've linked to this uh this this document before i believe on some of my other videos it's it used to be i unfortunately i had it saved to my old phone but it wasn't on this new phone so luckily we had starlink that was the one thing about this trip that was a little different is we had starlink because we had starlink even though we were in a no coverage area, we were able to immediately start popping over to Facebook, seeing what Nick and everyone else was saying, all the steps to finding the reset button, finding the manual overrides. At the same time, Johanna's looking through the Lippert manual, um, really teaming up on this. So we had it licked in, in I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Uh, but you know, it, now I have a defective uh, gate defender uh, hitch. I know that they have, I believe, what, a 700 or a, a 750 pound limit. If you're lifting your truck, but your weight distribution bars are, you know, you're, you're putting a lot of pressure on that thing. And um, all the grease in the world just doesn't seem to help.
soapy gray water. So what makes it easier is if I hold it on extend, now it's much easier for her. So clearly it's like the motor. The motor is bound up. I, yeah, the motor's bound up, not the, not the, uh, I mean, it's greased to the hilt. Is that you hitting the metal? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I'm just making sure that's the noise. Look at you go. You're awesome. Like, you're never going to worry about this guy. I'm telling you, man, we're just going to get a, we're just going to get a um, impact gun and just never worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> Not heady, it's Headley. Headley Lamar. We're going to go to either this place called Copper Creek Campground, or if we can't get, if we can't, uh, Oh man, the yellow lights went off, and now oh, that's... oh, uh, -uh. it's okay. I'll be cut out anyway. Um, 